time I meet you. Yeah, that's weird. Why would you? Yes! Come, why would you come to a job interview like that? Ugh. This fall would kill even you, but not me. Apparently, I didn't break my legs or anything. I can still drive a jeep. Only shot a bunch of times. I didn't give in to the torture. Torture? And things even worse than that. I was fighting too. Just like you. You're a strong woman. What was she implying them that it happened? Made me feel closer to you. I felt like you were there with me. It gave me the strength. Yeah, I wonder. To go on. That's what I figure. That's I mean, like, I don't want to say the word, but I mean like I figure I'm sorry. That's what don't they're say that. saying. It's like what's worse than being shot and tortured to a woman? All the pain and shame, That's it. Like it, it there, there, there's nothing worse. A single hope <laughs> that I held on to. And that hope kept me alive. Snake. I wanted to see you again. Meryl. That's my Kodak. Sorry, I gotta take this call. And I was like, Meryl, I... Oh, hang on a second, baby, Snake, I gotta take this. It's me, Otacon. Well, thank Good God. News. It's Meryl's in the middle okay. of this lovely dovey section. Right. <laughs> Couldn't take you it. Saved her, man. Damn. Good job. I got some bad news, too. We're about to be bombed. Oh, boy. I guess we're considered expendable. Duh. Is there a way out of here? A way out? Uh, yeah. You can take the loading tunnel to the surface. There's a parking garage right next to you. The tunnel leads from there to the surface. The door in front? No. It's a small entrance to the west of that door. How about the security? I just unlocked it. Who do you think you're talking to? I'll take care of security along your escape route, too. What are you going to do? Me? I... I'll stay here. Are you crazy? I need a little more time to take care of your escape route. But... Unlocking the security doors is difficult work. Only I can do it. Otacon. Don't worry. I'm staying here. It's my own decision. Okay. Otacon, this is a hardened shelter, but they're going to use a surface-piercing nuclear bomb. It won't hold. I'm through regretting the past. Life isn't all about loss, you know. Snake, I'm a complete person now. I've found a reason to live. Good. Don't die on me. Same to you. Take care of Meryl, okay? I will. Okay, so, I gotta go. So I promise to do, do something about your escape route. Thanks. When do you make the, the choice Thanks. of who to save and what ending you get? Oh, that sounds nice. Is it the torture I if you like you. surrender? I don't know. Thanks, Snake. I'm not uh I'm not big on that. Like I, I have no idea how it is, or like maybe it's the hell out of here. Too long him? between like the sniper. Where's Otacon? Otacon? Otakon? Where's Otakon? You heard that, right? Yeah. <laughs> With his old self. To be the man he wants to be. He's fighting for us, too? Yeah. Which, and you know, it actually makes more sense considering it's a combination of otaku and convention. Still. He introduced himself as Otakon, so it's Otakon. Hurt like hell. Mm -hmm. Snake. No. I just like saying your name. No. It started. Shit. I must be heavy. Duh. Looks like we're not I mean, gonna have a love scene after all. Looks that way. Too bad. <laughs> Let's get out of here. 
Snake, it's freezing outside. You need some clothes. Damn. There's my sneaking suit. Hurry up. Well, maybe she could stand. And, and run? No way she'd no be running. Way. Hurry. Mm, looking good, Snake. Where did she get that? Where did she get that jacket? Yeah. <laughs> you need some clothes. I see a vest over there. Uh, no, I'm taking that. You need some other clothes, all right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sure, right. Dude. All right. That's how you want to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hurry, yeah, yeah, right yeah. into the wall. They, they gave me control before, like, yeah. my whatever had all... Oh, no. Shit. Get away. Uh, don't look at me. Stop! Stop shooting me! Jeez! Let me in! Ooh. Oh god, stop shooting! They've got like they've got you like solid surrounded. Yeah, yeah! Gosh. Uh, diggity darn. Diggity darn dig. Okay, I'm just gonna face this way, and then I'll be facing them right as soon as she parks. All right, see how that works. I'm hoping it works. Oh yeah, bro, scrap. Nice, nice. Very good. I don't even think they hit me once. Let's go. All right, with two rations, as long as they don't take damage until that side view, should be all right. All right. Well, that's just they, these guys got have super soldiers here. Jeez. How many bullets do these people take? It's like as many as you. <laughs> Serious. Okay, so got the zero rations. Not bad. If you could have done that in the beginning, why did you even stop? I know! What the hell? Just drive right through. What are they gonna do? Well, that's how we caught up. Dark there for a while. I thought there were no keys. <laughs> was that was that Liquid's Jeep? Yeah, he, yeah, he's, he's always got keys. Like they were in the glove box. You said to look for them. They were they were, uh, they were they were behind the the, the visor. There is no visor. There's no windshield. <laughs> There's a windshield. Let's just fold it down. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, there's there's no. Visor. I was being silly. Alright. <laughs> Thank ah, you. Stop! Stop it! Oh, I didn't notice that too. When he rams me, it like throws off my, uh. It like changes the gun's position. Yeah. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Because otherwise, there would be no point to him ramming you, right? Yeah. It's making it more difficult. Because otherwise, you would just be. Moving back and forth, and <laughs> just yeah. like still, for like no the gun just trained on him. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you can kind of see where they're going based on like the yeah the tracer. Well, no, because even then, it's just like, are they just barely in front of him, or are they hitting him? I, I, it's so, that sometimes it looks like they go over his head, like yeah. if you're looking at the sparks yeah. on the wall. I see what you mean. I'm, I'm sure it's very different to control. It's like impossible to do that part without right. getting hit. Man. Okay, we well, got one more ration, so. I can't aim down, so I can't even hit him really? at this part. Yeah. There's gotta be something you can do. No, I can do nothing. Oh, I can aim down. <laughs> well, okay then. This changes everything. everything. Uh, oh, stop it, dude. Don't, don't. How many me. bullets in don't, everything don't, does he have to don't. take? It's over, it's over. Oh. oh. Oh, thank God. If he'd hit me one more time, that was it. I, I'd, I'd, I'd have been died. I'd have been died. You would have been dead. <sighs> Alright. You would have been dead. I put the controller down. <laughs> Metal Gear. Meryl. Damn. Oh, <sighs> God damn it. What the hell? What the hell, my own? Meryl, 
Are you okay? Yeah. Just a little shook up. It's a little dead. Meryl, can you move? Uh, uh, it's no good. I can't move. What happened to Liquid? I can't see him either. Well, I mean, if you're not dead, and everything else that should have killed you dead. didn't kill him, he's probably also not dead? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh! I'm on a mission! No, it's serious. Black. <laughs> so goddamn tough. Only his own heart could kill him. That's pretty much how tough Snake is, though. Yeah, true. Like, the two of them have been in, like, heated battle for, like, a he while now. Dead, that means. But all the bad shit happened to Liquid. Don't say it, Snake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Snake's not even beat up. Yeah, what that's happened true. Right? No For all we know, all that blood on him when he had no shirt on was like liquids. Because he was like hugging him. <laughs> well, he had to hug him. That's how he takes Snake, the shirt off. <laughs> can you hear me? Colonel, are you okay? Colonel, what happened? The Secretary of Defense has been arrested. Early retirement. Arrested? I was able to get into contact with the President. Metal Gear, the training exercise, all of it. It was all the Secretary of Defense acting alone. Hmm. Acting alone? Oh. What happened to the air raid and the nuclear strike? The orders were rescinded. The F-117s and the B-2 Spirits have returned to the base. Yay. Once again, I have complete authority over this operation. I see. Washington isn't stupid enough to use nukes to cover up a few secrets. I wonder about that. In any case, the danger's over. Thanks, Snake. Colonel, you can rest easy. Meryl's fine. We got really? through this. You owe me a beer. Thanks. Thank you, Snake. Snake. I'm sorry. I, I kept a lot of things from you. It's okay, Colonel. Snake. I'm not a Colonel. Huh. Oh, that's right. I've got a present for you. There's a snowmobile close to you. Mei Ling saw it on the satellite photos. This time of year, the glaciers are pretty calm. You should be able to ride right out of there. I'll bet the boys at the DIA and the NSA never expect you to come home alive. Me neither. I better not show my face around here. No danger of that. You two officially died after your jeep sank into the ocean. That's not too far from the truth. Also, there's a helicopter waiting for you on Fox Island. Dr. Hal Emmerich should be somewhere on the base. I want someone to bring him in. I understand. Leave it to me. Okay, Roy. Are you gonna be okay? Don't worry. I've got an insurance policy. A hard copy of all Mei Ling's data. As long as I've got that, you, me, and Mei Ling will be fine. The battery on these nanomachines will run out soon. They won't be able to follow us. I guess we won't meet again. Don't worry. I'll pay you a visit sometime. Really? I look forward to that. Roy, just tell me one thing. What? About Fox Die. Meryl will be fine. She wasn't included in its programming. What about me? It killed Liquid. Naomi said that she wants to talk to you face to face about that. How is she? Don't worry. Mei Ling is with her right now. I'm switching over to Naomi. Snake, it's me. Naomi. I heard about my brother. I'm sorry, but he had one last message he wanted to say to you. He told me to tell you to forget about him and to go on with your own life. Frankie said that? Yeah. He also said he'll always love you. Naomi, your brother just saved you, me, and the whole world. He fought with every ounce of strength in his body. Maybe. 
Maybe now he's finally found some peace. He wasn't really my brother anymore. Ever since he fought with you in Zanzibar, he's been like a ghost. A ghost looking for a place to die. <laughs> Naomi, Liquid died from Fox Die too. What about me? When am I gonna go? That's up to you. What do you mean? Everybody dies when their time is up. Yeah, so when's mine up? It's up to you how you use the time left to you. Live, Snake. That's all I can say to you. Each person is born with their fate written into their own genetic code. It's unchangeable, immutable. But that's not all there is to life. I finally realized that. I told you before the reason that I was interested in genes and DNA. Because I wanted to know who I was. Where I came from. I thought that if I analyzed my DNA, I could find out who I was, who my parents were. And I thought that if I knew that, then I'd know what path I should take in life. But I was wrong. I didn't find anything. I didn't learn anything. Just like with the genome soldiers, you can input all the genetic information, but that doesn't make them into the strongest soldiers. The most we can say about DNA is that it governs a person's potential strengths, potential destiny. You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. Snake, whether or not you're in the Fox Die program isn't important. The important thing is that you choose life. And then live. Don't you think, Snake? Don't worry. I'm going to choose life, too. Until today, I've always looked for a reason to live. But from here on, I'm going to just live. Genes exist to pass down our hopes and dreams for the future through our children. Living is a link to the future. That's how all life works. Loving each other, teaching each other. That's how we can change the world. I finally realized it. The true meaning of life. Thank you, Snake. Look, I found this. Let's keep it as a reminder. Of what? A reminder of a successful mission? Or the first time we met? A reminder of how to live. Huh? Until today, I've lived only for myself. Survival has been the only thing I cared about in my life. That's not just you. That's how everyone is. I only felt truly alive when I was staring death in the face. I don't know. Maybe it's written into my genes. What about now? What do your genes say about your future now? Maybe it's time I live for someone else. Someone else? Yeah. Someone like you. Maybe that's the real way to live. So, where to, Snake? David. My name's David. Okay. So where to, Dave? Hmm. I think it's time we look for a new path in life. 
A new path? A new purpose. Will we find it? We'll find it. I know we'll find it. What are those? Caribou. To the Aleutians, the caribou is a symbol of life. It'll be spring here soon. For us too. Yeah. Spring brings new life to everything. It's a time for hope. I've lived here a long time, but Alaska has never looked more beautiful. The sky, the sea, the caribou, and most of all, you. I think I'm gonna like this new life. Come on, let's enjoy life. So pretty. So like, no matter, oh, whatever, no matter who you save, neither one of them dies, obviously. So it, so Otacon still gets out and they could still meet up and team up and work together. Yep. So the canon ending is not necessarily the one where he saves or where you leave with, with Otacon. Or is it? I don't know, because like I think it is. If you if you give up in the torture, that's how you get out of because that's the only time where you actually have like an opportunity to make a choice, sort of thing. Mm. So like that has to be it. So if that's it, and that's that's the canon ending, the, the ultimate soldier pushes out. <laughs> mm. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, that's been uh, Metal Gear Solid. Uh, we're gonna. Play something else next time, so we'll see you in the next series. Hold on, hold on. Okay. You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. The important thing is that you choose life, and then live. Yes, sir. The entire unit was wiped out. Those two are still alive. The Vector? Yes, sir. Fox die should become activated soon. Right on schedule. Yes, sir. I recovered all of Rex's dummy warhead data. No, sir. My cover is intact. Nobody knows who I really am. Yes, the DARPA chief knew my identity. But he's been disposed of. Yes, the inferior one was the winner after all. That's right. Until the very end, Liquid thought he was the inferior one. Yes, sir, I agree completely. It takes a well-bounced individual such as yourself to rule the world. No, sir. No one knows that you were the third one. Solidus, what should I do about the woman? Yes, sir. I'll keep her under surveillance. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. President. Oh, damn! Okay, bye for real now. Okay, good. I was just gonna go. I was gonna be like, I wonder what Snake sounds like if he's like, like talking dirty in bed. Well, that's also like, he's not just angry there. He, he was forcefully get in there, <clears throat> check this shit out. I got a razor, <laughs> Viagra, four hours, ah, Metal Gear. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, this isn't diazepam. Better call my doctor. Naomi. <laughs> I got this razor. <laughs> okay, you know what? This this has actually been bugging me for a long time. Go for it. It's Naomi. Naomi. <laughs> Naomi. <laughs> My dick, it won't go down. Oh yeah.